you have a sore in your mouth and, and you're trying to figure it out, that's why I have food in my teeth. The reason that I like this Benzodent, there is my dryer. I have this Dremel that I may end up using on this spot. I also have a sore now, so hang on, hang on for this. So you have this white thing in your mouth and you're like, what is this? It's on your gums. You're scared to death and don't know what it is. The first time I ever, ever had a denture sore, I didn't know what it was either. I'm going to put a picture of mine up here. It was under here, right into there. It was this white thing that turned harder and harder. And I'm like, I've got cancer. I'm going to die. I know it. There's mouth cancer in there. I don't know what this is. It's an infection. It's something. What is it? So I made an appointment and I went to my dentist. Now this was probably just days after I had my immediate dentures put in. After I had all my teeth pulled out and my dentures put in. It was days after and I was scared. Didn't know what it was. So I went in there and he's like, oh, that's just a sore. You're going to be okay. We're going to adjust your denture a little bit. I also have a sore now. So hang on, hang on for this. We're going to adjust your denture a little bit. File it down a little bit make it fit you better and that sore will slowly go away but what do you do in the meantime if you have this sore because i have one now i i thought it was a good idea the other night to eat caramel popcorn without my teeth in it wasn't it wasn't a good idea no it, it just don't do that i have a sore i'm gonna take these out these are my denture box dentures too by the way and it doesn't have anything to do with the dentures it has to do with michelle eating popcorn i don't even know if you could see it it's right back here. But I want to show you how I've been treating this sore in my mouth. There's several ways that you can treat a sore. Different products, there's rinses and creams and there's even a flower. I have a flower that I grow in my garden that I've made a tincture with. I'll leave a link below, but here's this flower I've made a couple videos on. It's a natural remedy. I let the flower bud sit in here and it was like 100 proof vodka and I let it sit there for a couple months. And this, it just numbs it away. In the meantime, I use this. This has a slight little tiny bit of it. I used to tell I've used it a lot. A little bit of adhesive in it also. It numbs and has a little adhesive. And you don't want your denture moving around. When you have a sore, the idea is to get that denture, wherever the sore is, kind of off of that sore. Whether it be going to your dentist and letting him file it down, or like in my case, we're gonna use this. I'm gonna show, talk to you about this in a minute. And I'm just gonna keep applying this to the spot to see if it goes away. Now, if for any chance I have to file my denture down, stay tuned, subscribe, because this is coming. Maybe, well, it's coming anyway, but I might do it on this spot. I have a Dremel, and I got this Dremel with all of these different tips. And this is designed for dentures. The tips are very, very soft. It has a slow movement. When you order denture box teeth, they send you this. Or you could buy it. I have this Dremel that I may end up using on, on this spot. And I feel confident about doing that because I've used it before. I've tried it out. And it is so smooth and so soft that you don't need to worry about it. Mostly all dentists use a Dremel. That's how they file down your teeth. So if you're not wanting to go to the dentist and you want to fix your own teeth, there's a Dremel. You can also use a nail file if you want, but I like that Dremel. So anyway, let's go to the Benzident. Let's talk about this. Why? Why is it so long? Why do we need that that long? Okay. All right, it's done. The reason that I like this Benzident, it has a little bit of adhesive in it and it will hold my denture down. It won't move around. So that's what I'm trying to do right now is to get my bottom denture in so it doesn't move around on this sore because when it moves, it agitates it. So if you have a sore in your mouth and, and you're trying to figure it out, if your dentures are too big, maybe try a soft reline. If you want to file that spot down because I've filed spots down. I have videos doing that. That's why I have food in my teeth. I've done videos on this before. Some of you have emailed me because you've heard that this has a black black box warning from the FDA. It's not safe to use. It does not have a black box warning from the FDA. I actually called my pharmacist. I went in to see my pharmacist and had a meeting with her about this Benzodent and I called the company and they both said there's no black box warning. I mean there's warnings on it. There's warnings on everything nowadays but the things that they say that are happening are rare. So use the Benzodent. It helps. Since I know this is right here. It soars right there. That's the part of my denture that it sits there. So I'm just gonna put some in my denture like that. 
I'm just going to put it in there and take my finger and just mash it in there because I know that's where I need it and that's where some adhesive will be. Now for the rest of the denture, I don't want that to move either. So I'm going to put adhesive on the whole entire bottom of this denture. I like Secure. I like this a lot. Here's the ingredients in the Secure. This holds my denture in like the greatest ever. You can also use a Fixinant, Fixinant Max, I think that works good too. I got this on the Amazon. They have the aloe and you see some of you ask me if, if I use the aloe or the regular. I like them both. They both work just as well. I'm going to put this in here. Let me show you around like maybe like that. Now you need to spread this out because you need this all over your denture and trying to keep this there. You can use a like a toothpick like I'm doing. You can use your finger. My grandmother used to use a wet Q-tip when she did hers. But you can see I've spread the adhesive around and I've got this blob in this spot. I just kind of blended it like that. If you want even more holding power, you can add some fixinant powder to the top of this. Dry your ridge. I have severe dry mouth, so my ridge is dry half the time. In fact, let me show you what I've been doing here. I bought mouth lozenges, dry mouth mouth lozenges. This is the Act brand. I, there's other brands that you can buy, buy a teen. Um, even the store, Walmart has a brand, Ray Date has, even the store. So these are the dry mouth lozenges. I suck on those in the day once in a while and it helps my dry mouth so good. And it doesn't bother with my denture adhesive or anything. Even when I get up in the morning, you know, when you have that awful dry mouth, those of you that have dry mouth know. I pop one of those in in the morning before my cot, before anything. Love it. All right, we're gonna pop that in there and bite down. I still have that sewer there which we may end up dremeling. So subscribe and watch me dremel my denture. We may end up doing that. I don't know yet. I've not gotten that far, but I'm gonna dremel on my, my old immediate denture to show you how to do this anyway. So subscribe to come back from a dremel, from a dremel video. <laughs> the Benzident in this area might turn your denture orange inside. It might, it might stain it a little bit, but that's okay. It, it'll come out when you, as you're cleaning and stuff, it'll, it'll come out. The secure, when you put it in your mouth, if it burns your gums a little bit, which some people it does, some people it doesn't. Once in a while, I get the burn. Just leave your denture sit out for like 30 seconds before you put it in your mouth. It'll take care of that burn. This is how I take care of sores. So if you have that white spot and you're like, what the heck do I do? We're gonna, we're gonna try the benzene first. Put it in there and make sure your denture doesn't move. Your denture can't move. It can't move because all that rubbing is causing that sore. Next step. If this doesn't work, we're gonna we're gonna adjust, do some adjustments. So subscribe and come back. 